I think I should be afraid of dinosaurs. If that's a real graveyard, and you know your fossil fuel, don't you? Come to find out, a Dalmatian came from the year of the dinosaurs. It's a fossil. Your, uh, your homo skeleton is not a sapien, but it's a, um, homo, uh, what is it? Homo species? That's the name of the species, homo. That's a fossil few, too, from the dinosaur years. It's kind of messed up. It's, uh, half a million years? Um... If you go look at the museums, nothing but fossils. And if they're brushing it off, you might find some tar from dinosaurs. If y'all remember what tar is, it's another fossil fuel. Now, if you go into my old category of recall dialogue, it's over by N-C-I-T-E, a fossil fuel. It's more than a couple thousand years old, come to find out. It's how time rusts. There's metal nearby. Instead of a brick house. Of um, fossil fuel. Now, the mosquito. I love to shelter people from the truth. Scientists have named it years before now at the Museum of Dinosaurs. To Ambrus fly from the dinosaur prehistoric years. Um, instead of getting ancient aliens from your 1040 hiring papers of your W-2 tax returns for an income earned credit when you file your taxes at tax, tax liberty income, it'll all say alien like it used to. Sounds like a dramatic way to elaborate the merged worlds of the museums. A translate world, it's not metaphorical. Without data. Metaphorical. A meta is data. A meter reader is data. Let's do translations to our modern English. Our modern English is uh, Chinese and Mexican. It doesn't exist yet. They're still dwelling on the museum where a dinosaur was born from Africa in the museum. Now, if you're looking for Earth, you could go to the Bible because the dinosaurs ran amok there. 